All right, hello there. It's Mr. Pouts, and we're back in section three, part B this time. So we're breaking this into two parts. Part B, we're going to deal with this second goal. I can graph linear equations in slope-intercept form. So we're going to be looking at um, writing the equations from a graph and graphing um, equations in slope-intercept form. So let's get right into it then. Um, here's the first part. So we'll say it is writing slope-intercept form of a graph line. And here's an example that you'd be given. It says, which equation represents the line shown? So I'm giving you a line graph, and you have to tell me what the equation is. So for instance, here is, uh, well, here's the steps that we're going to take to do this. The steps are right above here. Find the y-intercept um, where the line crosses the y-axis. So if you look at the graph, the line crosses the y-axis. That's the vertical axis right here. That's considered your starting point or your y-intercept. That's the b value. So we now know that B, the slope, the y-intercept is negative 2 because it crosses at negative 2. It says now find the slope by picking two points on the line and doing rise over run. So this is the, slope, the M. So we know that's a point. Let's pick, looks like this one is a point 2. To get from the left point to the right point, you'd go up 2. So that's a, your rise would be 2. Your run would be over 1. So rise over run Your rise is 2, your run is 1, so your slope is 2 over 1. Rise over run. So the equation then would be y equals 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2x um, plus negative 2, or minus 2. So if we look at this, sorry, if we look at this, um, we can cross this one out because the slope is a positive 2. Um, we can cross this one out because that's not the right y-intercept. Um, cross this one out, it's the wrong slope. Here we go, slope is 2 or 2 over 1. And the y-intercept is negative 2, so minus 2. And here we go, this would be the equation. So that is how you go about doing it um, when you are taking a graph and you are finding the equation. So remember, find the y-intercept, that's your b. Find the slope, which is rise over run, that's your m and put them into slope-intercept form. All right, we're going to do a little backwards now. We're going to do graphing a line from slope-intercept form. So you're given slope-intercept form, and we're going to graph it. So for instance, here's your example. It says, what is the graph of y equals 2x minus 1? So how do we graph that? Very similar to going backwards, but we're going to do start. So place your starting point on the y-axis at your at your y-intercept, so the b value. So the b value in this case would be negative one. It's a minus one. So b is negative one. So we're going to put it on negative one. All right, that's your starting point. That's the y-intercept. Then, so there's our starting point. Use the rise and run from slope. So the slope is two, which we're going to say is two over one. Use your rise and run from slope to get to, to your next point. It should be your next point. I'll fix that later. So do this at least two times for a minimum of three points total. So we're going to go up two and over one. One, two, over one. There we go. So it's up two. We're going to do it again. Up two, two, one, two, over one. You can keep going like this forever. It'll be up two and over one. Up two and over one. You can even go backwards. We go back one and down two. But then that's step two. We got plenty of points. Connect the points with the line having arrows at the ends. So we're gonna connect it. Makes a nice line if you draw it straight enough. And that's how you graph a line when it's in slope-intercept form. All right. Now I have one crazy situation. What if it's not in slope-intercept form? How do I graph it? The slope-intercept form is great. You have the, the y-intercept, you have the slope, you just use those two things to make your line. What if it's not already in slope-intercept form? Answer, solve for y so that it is in slope-intercept form. So here's an example. Um, I actually need to take this. Oh. All right, so we want to graph this equation, but if you look at it, it's definitely not in slope-intercept form. We want it to be in the form y equals 
mx plus b. And we have the m, we have the slope, and we have the y-intercept. Right now it's in something times y plus something times x equals 0. Um, so we're going to solve for y. So we have three chunks here. We have this chunk, we have this chunk, and we have this chunk. And we want this part by itself on one side. So we got to get rid of this 4x chunk, and we got to split up the 2y chunk. So just like we're solving a two-step equation, um, and I'll rewrite this. We have 2y plus 4x equals 0. Let's get rid of that plus 4x, because we don't need that on this side at all, the whole thing. So we're going to subtract that from both sides. So when we do that, and this gets rid of that. We have 2y equals 0 minus 4x, which would just be negative 4x. All right. Then we're going to try to split up this y by dividing both sides by 2. So we're going to divide this by 2 to get the y by itself. Divide this by 2. And actually, this would be plus 0. We can say plus 0 over here. Divide that by 2. Also, for dividing one thing by 2, we have to divide all the parts by 2. Um, this becomes negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2x. And we still have 0 divided by 2 is plus 0. So I put that plus 0 in there. It does not need to be there. Um, but that's just so that you know your starting point is at 0. If there's nothing there, that means you just start at the 0. So now that it's in slope-intercept form, we can graph it using our two parts. Our m, which is negative 2 over 1. Always put the slope over 1. And our b, which is 0. So we're going to start it at 0. This middle point. Um, and we're going to use our slope negative 2. Our rise is negative 2. So that means we're going to go down 2. And our run would be over 1. So there's a point right there. Let's do it again. We need, at least, we need to do that at least twice. Down 2 over 1. So here's a nice point right there. Um, we can do that again. You'd have a point right here. You can go backwards and you'd have a point right there. But the point is... Not point. Um, you can connect the dots and it forms a line. With arrows in the end, that, that would continue like that forever. So there's the line, the graph line, of our original equation that looked like that. And then it also turned into this equation, slope-intercept form. Really easy to graph once you have it in slope-intercept form. All right. So just to recap, if you have it in slope-intercept form, or if it's not already, get it in the slope-intercept form. Then place your starting point on the, the y-axis. Whatever your b-value is, put it on the y-axis. That's your starting point. Use the rise of a run from the slope to get your next point. This should be your. I'll do this at least two times. Connect the dot, the points and draw a line. So that is how you graph a line. Given the equation. So here's what I'd like you to finish off. What is the equation of the line below? Why don't you try that? What is the equation of the line below? So I just... I did this for you. I just found the y-intercept. So you got to find the y-intercept, the b-value, where it crosses the y-axis at negative 3 right here. So b is negative 3. The m, you just got to find two points. Find that slope. The m is the slope. And the rise and the run. So it goes up 2 and over 1 to get to a point. So it's 2 over 1. And then we take that. We put it in for y equals mx plus b. And our thing would be y equals 2 over 1x plus negative 3, or y equals 2 over 1x, or 2x, minus 3. All right? Either one of these are okay. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you take quality notes on both of those parts. And again, that's the second part with graphing linear equations in slope-intercept form. Don't forget, slope-intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. M is the slope. B is the Y intercept. Enjoy the rest of your day.